Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane and I am going to be making a baby shoe for you from the Artiste cartridge and you can get this from Close to My Heart. I got this from Carol Horton. She's a Close to My Heart representative and I'll put her information in the video. But today I wanted to make that baby shoe and if you notice if you've gotten some new carts they put all of the images, the finished images, in the front. So it's easy to look through. You don't have to flip through all the pages to find some inspiration of what you want to do or make. So I wanted to do the baby shoe. I didn't know what page it was, so I just looked in the front and went through all these. Where'd it go? There it is. So there, it says it's on page 63. So I just went to page 63 and there it is. And this number here also shows you what has another book on how to assemble things and that will be on page 41 of that book. But here are the three items and I'm going to do this in the Cricut Craft Room. This says it's a recommended to do it at four inches. So I'm doing it at four inches. Okay and this is where you put the size in, right down here. So everything you cut out will be at four inches unless you change each size of the actual item. So everything should fit together on the three different sizes. It's easy to find, even though on here you can't really tell what everything is. You go to the handbook and it shows you what button it is. So it's this one right here. So you can just double click it. Oh, I guess just one click it, because that made two. I'm gonna delete that one. Oh, just have to hit delete. Bring that back up. And then I won't need to hit shift and hit the same key. And then that probably put right underneath there. But I like to move things around, so I use the least amount of paper as possible. I'm going to do those in different colors. And then there's one more image we need. And that is in the card section. So I'm going over here to hit card. And there is the strap. So I just click that. Or you can just bring it up like that. Just drag it to the, but I already clicked it, so it's probably down here. I'll just delete that, because I only need one. And I'm going to put that up here. Because <coughs> I'm going to put this in a different color, I am going to move it down here so it'll be easier. I'm just going to put it at the bottom. So this is going to be the top of the shoe, this will be the bottom, and this will be the strap. Okay. So now I have to pick out the colors. I need a piece 5x5 five five for this one, and so I'm going to use this one. And this has like some shininess on it. And then for the bottom, I'm going to use this one and for the strap. But the strap I'm also going to cover in glitter and it's going to be beautiful. Okay, so let me get these on the mat. These two colors I'm going to use the same color so I'm going to go ahead and put these as close as possible so I don't waste paper. So to get the paper in the right spot, I'm going over to the four at least and down about to the four and a half, but I have it on here to the five and way over. So I know I have plenty of paper and I will still have some scraps left over. And I'm just pushing that on there to make sure. This is kind of thick paper a little bit. For those of you that aren't used to Cricut Craft Room, I'm going to hit cut. 
and this is set at heavy cardstock. So I'm going to hit OK. It says insert the cutting mat and hit the load button. Hold on. This is kind of tricky on the mini to make sure it's in there completely even. Okay, now we got it all cut out. There we go. It's all cut out. That was so simple. Now we have to score these or just push those down. They go down really easy. Okay, I was trying to figure out which would be the best glue. I need something fast drying. So if you use glue, you need something fast drying, I think, and something pretty strong. So what I decided to use is my ATG gun, and I'm putting this on a um, piece of paper or something that I don't want to put it on the table and get adhesive on the table. So I am just going to put a whole line of adhesive all the way down. I'm not going to stop at each one. See, I'm not lifting it, I'm just going around until I get to a corner. I'm just lifting it off there. And I already did this part so I could test it. Okay, then it's going to look like that. And that's okay to have that adhesive on there because it's not going to show. See, it's going to be like this. And this is going to close like that. And we've got to push all these down. And the adhesive all on a string like that is actually going to make it stronger. Okay, so here's the bottom of the shoe. And I want to line this up. You just want to line this up the best you can. the edge of the paper and you can push that down inside I'm just pushing this in with my thumb to get it to the edge of the paper. Push it down better. Isn't that cute so far? Such a cute shoe. And you can do so many things. You can um, add bows or ribbons or anything to this. But we're not done yet. We still got this. And I could just place this on like that. But I want to add some glitter. So what little girls don't like glitter? You could also just wrap a ribbon around here, which I do have glitter ribbons, but I want to show you how I do the glitter. I'm gonna do it on my X. Stick it through. Pull this out. Push the adhesive on there. I'm 
No, you could also do flocking powder on the shoe. I thought of that too. I think I'm gonna use this Martha Stewart Rubulite color on the strap. Okay, and I just got a piece of white paper to collect the glitter. Now I tore this off and then this one side is has adhesive on it. And I'm just gonna poke out these holes. Don't need glitter in the holes. Lay that down. And sprinkle the glitter. Look how beautiful it is. Love it. And that's gonna go like that. And then that's gonna go, I'm lining up the holes. And I'm gonna put some brads in there. Or you could use eyelets too. And so she'll have, oh, that is so cute. Okay. Let's put the glitter back in the container. So I open up the top. Fold it. Pat it down. I do have a glitter tray. But it's really hard to clean. So I think I'd rather just use paper got some heart breads, some white ones. I have pink ones and red ones too, but the pink don't quite match. So I thought I'd stick with white. I think I could have found another color of glitter that would match a little better too. But Okay, and there you go. These are great little things for baby showers. You could fill them up with candy or something. Isn't that so cute? I love it. And this was cut at four inches from the Artiste. And this is the only cartridge I've ever seen this on. This is from the Artiste. From a, you have to get it from a close to my heart representative. I recommend Carol Horton. She is so nice and sweet and gets things out to you quickly. So I'll put her information on in the video. Okay, so I thought I was done and then I decided it needed something else. And I want to cover up these edges around here. Just lots of things you can do. But I'm just going to use this glitter glue that I got for 50 cents. This looks like a Joann's sticker. I think I got it at Joann's or Walmart. So I'm going to just put this around the edge. Okay, now here's the shoe with the glitter. I think it looks a little better. I could put some around the edge here too. Or I could have inked up the edge with some pink. 
I think I'm going to do that. But I can see why this glitter glue was only 50 cents because it's not very easy to work with. It seems a little thick. So I made a little mess. But that is why I worked on this is a glue gun mat and the glue just comes right off of it. I'm using these things. I'll use the red one. And I really should have done this before I put it together. Can you see what the red does? I don't know if you can tell. But it looks better here than here. And there's our finished shoe. And there's so many more. Ooh, it would look really cool. Some rhinestones around here. Oh, I'm going to have to get those on there. Okay, looking for my rhinestones, I got another cute idea. But me, not on this shoe. But you could do a shoe. I have wobbly eyes. It would be really cute to put some eyes on here and stamp a little face on here. If you used, you know, like a plain colored paper. Using these, I don't even know the name brand or anything. Can just do one or more. That's cute. Can you see it? Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Thanks for watching.